Hello everyone, myself Rakesh. I belong to Hisar, Haryana. I have done my master's in chemistry from HNB Garhwal University and now I am aspiring to do my PhD from abroad. So basically the first thing comes to anyone's mind when he or she hears the word studying abroad is what is the process, how will we do it. So that was that thing came to my mind too. So I was lucky that I had a friend uh, who told me about the platform let's do gre.com uh, which is run by Dr. Narendra Parmar who is a scientist in South Korea Institute of Technology and I talked to him I went to that platform and uh, got his number and I talked to him he told me about the whole process and uh, also helped me uh, preparing for my IELTS exam he told me about two options regarding the exam one was TOEFL and uh, second was IELTS I was a little bit familiar with the IELTS so I chose IELTS over TOEFL there were four, pa four parts in IELTS exam listening, reading, writing and speaking three parts listening, reading and writing were on the same day and speaking part was uh, two, two to three days prior or after you were a listening reading and writing test so my exam was on 10th of july and i started pre preparing uh, two months prior to my exam in starting i was not able to get good scores because i i did not have that much hold on the language so after practicing a lot of times i i was able to get confidence and I, I was able to get good scores and Dr. Parmar also helped me a lot because I was uh, scared about my speaking part because I was not you know uh, much of a English speaker I used to speak in Haryanvi and now I am in front of you speaking in English so I think I have come a long way uh, Dr. Parmar uh, uh, had uh, played a very important role in my speaking because he used to talk to me in English and from that conversations from those conversations I gained uh, so much confidence also my friends also helped me a lot because I had no one to speak to English with so I started in the front of my phone camera and in front of my room's mirror so that I can improve myself so after preparing for one month I gained confidence and I booked my test for 10th of July so and I'm lucky that I get, got uh, seven bands overall so the key to a good score is only practice for the listening part I, I would say do as much as listening you can you can do for the reading part you just do one paragraph each day do not go for much because that will frustrate you or you will get uh, easily frustrated because if there is any that uh, that of if there is any paragraph in which you are not getting good score will demoralize you you do not need to be demoralized there are so many things that comes after uh, so much of practice I used to get 15 to 16 marks out of 14 reading part you won't believe but after some time uh, I have I have scored 7.5 bands in reading only so for the writing part just start writing anything anything you like you can start with the your qualities you can start with your family occupation you can start with anything just write something that will boost up your confidence and you will have ideas because there are two tasks in our writing part one is uh, you have to write about something uh, there will be a figure given to you and you have to write about that that is the easy part but in the second part you have to express your ideas how much how many words you can uh, think of at that uh, instant how many how you apply your ideas 
they are just looking at your ideas they are just getting that uh, are you have do you have any hold on that language so my friend used to take my speaking test also i used to talk to dr parmar in once or twice uh, in a week and he kept he keep on boosting my confidence and see he told me about the time management and how to attempt the exam so that really gave me a positive attitude and the practice really build up my confidence so i think ki that is enough i think so that's all i wanna say thank you keep practicing be positive be focused thank you very much Thank <music> you.